So Monkey Dory is a Pokemon that I have been a verified hater of ever since it dropped in you. But today, got this team from good friend Eternally. With Nasty Plot, Terra Blast, Ground Monkey Dory, we're going to be trying to finally do something with this Pokemon. Um, I'm not sure this is the matchup, because that's an AV Reuniclus that will not be getting KO'd, but... You know what I am sure of? That you should subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We're on the way to 10,000 subs on this channel. Every new subscriber means more than you could ever imagine to me. So, hey, let's get this channel going. Let's get this channel going. Also, you know what? If you're already subscribed, go leave a like. Even if you think you are already subscribed, go, go down there anyway, man. <laughs> knock this thing's boots just because it's generally always really nice to knock boots. I'm going to go into my Sandy Conda. I have no clue why I eternally put a Sandy Conda on this team. But rest assured, it's fine. I'm going to throw up my Rockers here. So they go into Melodic. This one's a little annoying. Because I don't want to go... Here's the problem, right? I don't want to go Brute Bonnet. Because I know this is a sample. So this is a Salt Vest Reuniclus. If my Bonnet gets weakened too early, it can be kind of bleak. Is this Scalding here? I can go Zone. I just hope I don't get burned immediately. But knowing my luck, we got the burn. <laughs> Literally saying it before it even happened. I'm insane. And here, I'll just... Mm, I'll iron defense. They have to hard switch. They go crook, and then it's okay. So we iron defense up. They go into you. So here's the thing, right? They're gonna focus blast. I'm gonna monkey. Monkey and then pivot in the bonnet. Okay, well they, they foresaw an attack there, but that's fine. We even have a little bit of chip on that lug. So now I can throw off a crunch very, very freely. Dragalge, ooh! <laughs> Guess what's coming out. With the swiftness, another crunk. I love that that 2 it KOs Dragalge too, so this is not a physically defensive Dragalge. We talked about it in yesterday's video. I really like Fizz Def on Dragalge because it means you actually check stuff like Mianxiao a lot more reliably, but hey, <laughs> Brubot, it's another one of those guys. So we're going to get to block the future site here, as well as potentially get just, I don't know if I two hit KO lug. We will not be finding out. They give me Dragalge, that is really useful. Shao comes out. If I wanted, I could bust my Terra here, but I do not need to do that. I can just go into my Noivern. They're a life orb. They hit me with the knock. It does 5 million damage, but that is okay. I will be dropping the fattest of Draco Meteors. Ah, nice 26. Yes, and I can roost. Give me all of that HP right back. They're probably going to just... Maybe noise? No, they go for that. Hey, let me get all that back again. Thank you. Hmm. So, I don't have to keep zone around, but I'm going to because it is useful against Lug. I'm gonna go Bonnet this time. As they do focus again. Good play, good play. Unfortunately for my opponent, I now get the freest of Seed Bombs. And I'm going for Seed Bomb here, just in case the Terra want to do a little bit more chip than I would normally. They go Lug. I'll still get some good chip. We'll block the future site here. In a world where I have CC, man, this Avalug is gonzo. But now, bring in my Monkey Doors. They, what in the world kind of play is that? Terra Ghost? When I could have crunched? Oh, they, well, they predicted a CC, but Jesus Christ, what a what a weird decision. I think I died a rapid spin. That's funny. I'm going to sludge wave because I know that's going to do enough. They're going to go this. And I do get my poison. Yes, sir. Yo, Bonnet, by the way, now destroys them. I mean, this is kind of despicable. Thank God I got Bonnet in here. Is, I mean, I could just Seed Bomb again, but I am going to Crunch. Does it go Crook? Seed Bomb was the right play. Hm, interesting. Um, I was going to go for Hazards here. I guess he could CC me. I'm going to go Noivern. Yeah, just go Noivern and Defog. I don't really need this Mon around. We also know it's Scarf, so I can just do that. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna roost. Yeah, because we can stall a couple turns versus you at least. Roost once more. How much did Draco do earlier? 
I did hit this once with a Draco. 26. I'm gonna go for it here. Man, you know, I... You know, I make the right play. I stall it down to where toxic damage would have KO'd it. I hate this game. Pokemon sucks. Uh, let me get my rocks back up. Let me just rest. They're gonna get the spin now, though, which is unfortunate. Oh, is it where Terra here? Hmm. Knock isn't gonna do a ton to me. I mean, I could just... It's so annoying that I missed that Draco. I would have done so much. I would have killed Crook. I would have just been gone. At least after the knock on me, it would have been gone. I'm just gonna do this. Go back to Mien and just get my regen going. This is this is very unfortunate. I am in a much worse spot than I would be had I just landed Draco. But you know what? It is what it is. At least I knew how to take that sequence. I do want rocks this game, even though they're not like overly important. They just keep my opponent honest. Hey, Ice Spinner. I'm gonna throw these right back up. Don't think that you get to deny me. Alright, maybe you do get to deny me. What's it to you? Yeah! Yeah, look at that, buddy old pal. And I'm just gonna throw off Earthquake, because it is very free against this guy's team. There is nothing to take one. I do like the team from Shingineer, right here. And the problem, of course, is that there's nothing to take EQs other than Avalug, and so... And, you know, in an ideal world where my opponent did not make the weirdest play of all time, we were in a much better spot. <laughs> I'm just amazed that Crunch was the right play against the Avalug, dude. Truly insane. I think I'm Magnazone here. I'm tired of this goober. I'm literally just gonna throw off a Flash Cannon. Nice drop as well. I'm just gonna go for another. Actually, we'll T-Bolt on this one, because they'd go Milo, I think. Yeah. Get my chip. Go for Flash Cannon again here. They have to switch. Flash, because I think they're going to try to pivot Crook. Yes, sir. God, that did nothing. I'm just going to throw off another. Yeah, because if you knock here, I get a free switch anyway into my Mi and Shao. And I just get to you. Trying to win the long game. You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it, buckaroo. So they're gonna go lug. They're gonna take all of that chip. I will say losing this when I probably should have kept it for zone is a bit of an L, but I don't think not for zone. Kept it for lug is a bit of an L. But I don't think it matters. Maybe they'll give me this mon here. Yo, that's insane. <laughs> you know what's even more insane? Monkey Dory comes out, and since we know this is life orb, <laughs> I'm actually just uncontested speed wise. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, they go to this. I have to keep something around. I'm going to sludge wave this for chip. Yeah, because I, I also know I'm going to take the skull just fine. So getting this thing poisoned is also super crucial. Okay, Dory getting some very clutch poisons. You are not faster than me. You are not fake out. He's fake out! <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I love that I could also just check the set. I just don't. I mean, it did so little. I'm just going to stay in an attack again. They go Ryuni. Here's the thing. You're too low. I have to sludge wave here? That's despicable. It doesn't matter, but like, that's despicable. God, look at all that chip. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Unfortunately, I will be going Brute Bonnet there. Um... Got a sea bomb here. Don't you dare burn me again. Thank you. Not Marvel scale question mark? Or is that Marvel scale boosted? The hell, dude. Sea bomb, and we dodged that poison. Noise. Or burn. Noise. Now you go back to Shao. I'll keep this around still. Just sack the Noivern. Is it's not even a sack because they U-turned. Very nicely done by me. They got to the Rima close. I'll be throwing off the swiftest of Dracos. And they future sight. Okay. Well, I will be staying in with this Pokemon. Actually, I'll go into you just to block the fake, and then I'll go into this. Whatever. It'll give me momentum. It'll give me my Jomentum here. The lugger comes in. Um. Now I go into Brubonnet. I'm just gonna crunch. 
I literally just want damage on this for Monkey Dory Psychic. That is all. Make sure that's in range. I don't know if I had to play it like that, but felt right in my head. And then I go back to you. I will rest now. Go, go, take a nap. They're gonna KO me here, but I will rest once again. Take a nap. And there we go. Let's say to Kana get that last KO. You know what it's about. You know what it's about. So, hey, that's the most useful I've ever seen a monkey door in my life. I hope y'all took that 10 minutes to see that Monkey Dory work, because that is the most useful I've ever had it. I think the problem, right, the only Monkey Dory I've used so far is Scarf, and Scarf is not bad. The problem is, is that Scarf Monkey Dory, you feel, I feel like it wants to U-turn more than it should. And so as you're spamming these U-turns, you're doing a whole lot of nothing, and you become a lot more reliant on getting your Toxic Chain. Whereas with this type of set, and I could still play Scarf like that, it's just a little harder. With this type of set, I can just keep a attacking, like, Sludge Wave and Psychic. And at least, if I'm not getting a Poison, then I'm doing a bit more damage. There's the Lure Threat as well versus things like Muck, where I've got the Terra Blast Ground. I've got... <laughs> What's it called? I've got the Gat. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow. Woody. Whoa. Hello, Woody. Yo. This is like Prime Monkey Dory Gaming. If I can... <laughs> I gotta see this calc. Do I one-shot Muck? Monkey Dory. You know what's gonna be great, too? Is when this Muck stays in a terrace. <laughs> when it stays in a just raw terrace, it's like, nah, I'm familiar with your game, Bozo. Terra Blast. Ground. How much does it do? Just even one-shot. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I could trap Reggie. Maybe. But I could trap Reggie. That's cool. The threat is the stupid Gallade, dude. I'm leading off with Sandaconda. Well, thank God I did. I get to tank a hit and EQ. This mod is a threat. <laughs> this is a threat and a half. Don't you dare Terra Grass Leaf Blade me. Don't you dare Terra Water Aqua Cutter me. Please. I have, I have a family. Please. Okay, the Sacred... My brother in Christ. Is this banded? Or is that just normal? Alright, I'm full fizz def. No, close. Sandaconda. In you utility. Well, I don't have 80. Let's bring the speed down. 48, so we're 208. See, who needs to import? Gallade. If they're... Are they max HP, by the way? No, they're not. Wait a minute, Galay, let me let me check this set, because I should see. They're at a minimum they're they're adamant. Wait, no life orb. But then we give them plus one. They're banded. Yeah, that's vile. Um I just like to point out. I just took 64 from a resisted hit. I just want to make that known. I, I should have gone Bonnet anyway, but I feel like this one switching out was, like, kind of free to predict. Oh dear, no item. Okay, well, let's go Santa Conda and just hope we don't get poisoned. Oh, what's that? We got poisoned immediately. I love Pokemon, and so do you. So this is bad. This is really bad. I maybe should have sacked Noiv instead and just Dracoed? But I feel like I need Noivern around for speed. There's like Thunderous and Bramble and this. So I stand by that play, but like, dear god. Mian Shao. Muckalola. I have no clue what this thing's set is gonna be. He could be AV because there's no recovery. Man, I get these damn KOs. I get these rolls. I get these rolls. You're gonna stay in. You're gonna get greedy. You're gonna think I'm gonna U-turn. You're gonna CC'd. Alright. Well, my opponent just went for Terra Poison and missed. So we call that a little bit of justice, where I'm from. Now, why is that justice, you might ask? Because this guy is using this! What? What is this? Don't you dare. You're a bitch for that. Fuck you. 
I had no reason to sack Monkey Dory there. Literally tossed the entire game. For no reason. Tossed the entire game. <laughs> I literally had the freest Neufert sack of my life. And my ass was like, you know what would be really funny here, though? If I just didn't play it right. So we're going to get my little flamethrower chip. All right. And this guy's using the Virgin set. Dude, it's got protect. Where's my burn, by the way? Can I get a burn? Dude, where's my burn? Give me a burn! Thank you! God. People, am I right? Just, just truly, how dare you? So, we, we've lost this game. Um, That's known. But I can still iron defense back. You gotta crit immediately. God help me. Wait. <laughs> you... Who's walled? That's insane. Well, let me go for T-Bolt. Hey. Who's walled? Huh? Who's walled? Thought it was me? No. It's you. Thunderous comes out. Man, you can catch the smoke too. How much do I do with you? 266 defense, dear god. Oh, I'm ready, by the way, for this to be, um, randomly sludge wave. A su alt. Good work, are you? You're, you're really, you're really doing well. 268, eternal. Wait, I don't have any defense investment? Yeah, okay, a turn, thanks. My bad. Body press to it, KO, you're not sludge wave. That's what I thought. Get pressed, noob. You know what? You can catch another. You can catch another. Yeah, get out of here. Man, you don't even KO me. Get out of here, noob. Dude, he literally went for the wrong move, and he got a crit that wouldn't have killed me otherwise. That's hilarious. I say it's the wrong move because this mon has Sacred Sword. You think Zone was living that hit? No. Good play from them there to go pert. Um, I'm still gonna seed bomb here because Bramble Gas does not move me. I should have seed bombed anyway. But I'm literally just gonna do this now. Yeah. You, you, you can get on up out of here with this nonsense. I misplayed this really badly. But thankfully, they went for a game with Registeel too early. I love to, though. The guy had no reason not to knock there, and I'm just like, yeah, let's go Monkey Dory. That sounds like a really good, intelligent play. But you know what? The Neuvern Preserve! <laughs> God, I played that so badly. But now nah, the Neuvern Preserve, it worked. My opponent got burned. I hit them with enough flamethrowers to where eventually one of them burned. And they were so dead set on going for a game with that stupid Registeel. They didn't need to, but then they just got trapped and immediately owned by my Magnazone. <laughs> oh, you can't script any better than that. And they teared the muck so early, too. That was probably what really won us the game, too. Because the Registeel, if it had Terra, eh, probably could have been bad. Oh, we're facing this guy again, except he's using a different team. Wait. Give me a moment, I'll be right back. You know, I've got a photographic memory, so I recognized it's this team. Let me just post that there. Have fun. Let them know. Let them know that I'm fully aware. <laughs> fully aware of all the sets. God, this team looks obscene. All right, bro. Phantom, you wanna you wanna answer for your sins real quick? What's this? What's what what's this? Who am I hitting? Who? Am I, am I hitting Swampert? Do I care? There's a Serena. There's a Slowbro. What do you, why? Why? Evil, despicable set. Anyhow, they're also Terror Blast Ground on their monkey, but this one's U-turn instead of Nasty Plot. So we'll keep that in mind. Scarf here, and it was just Terror Fight, so we may have to Terra the um, Condor this game, but it's okay. Um, hmm. I don't even hate leading my Monkey Dory this game. I do want to calc something real quick. Monkey Dory. This guy's also not said have fun in return, so I think I'm right for doing what I did to them. Crocodile. It's not Scarf, but that's fine. 
Oh yeah, I just literally one shot with Terra Blast Ground. Cool. I'm gonna lead off a shell. I won't do it, but I think you all understand the ur the primitive urge to just risk an entire game for no reason. Here's the thing too. My opponent should never do this. They have slow bro. My switch it is a Sandaconda. I'm doing it. Terrible ass play. You had a whole slow bro. Just they should be hard switching to slow bro. They're always. They're again, the reason they need to hard switch slow bro is there's just there's no incentive to not. If I go my switch in Sandaconda. I, I guess I could go Noive. But like, more than likely, my switch is Sandaconda. Just, just go bro. <laughs> Even if I go Neuvern on bro, you've got a Assault Vest Lowland Muck. Just make the damn play, dude. So this thing came out. I'm gonna go Bonnet. Is that U-turn? Obviously, I never stand and CC that. It's just a choke. Unfortunately, I'm not CC, though, on my Bonnet. So Serena, com Serena comes out. What's the set on this? U-turn. I see. Well... They're gonna U here. I think a zone. <laughs> Let me get my chip. <laughs> Let me get my chip real quick. And that's how you play a game of Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching. I should preserve you. Just for crook. I'm gonna noive here. Double back to Condor. Because they shouldn't let me Drake you. Yeah, now I get my rocks. If they go into Serena here, I might Terra, I'll be honest. <laughs> the tomb! You will be rock tombed! You will be rock tombed again! <laughs> this is beautiful. Don't y'all love that? The little tumor there, a little bit of tumor. Go to zone here. Alright, so I know this is Terra Poison, so I do have Monkey Dory that can always deal with this. I'll just Thunderbolt here anyway. I say always deal with it. Technically not true. I'm gonna hard switch and do it here. Basically, I'm just trying to pressure this. Even if they stay in, like, I get chip. Alright, I don't like that this isn't two hit KO'd by me. But I'm gonna pressure the hell out of this. Alright, cool. Yeah, and I forced them to do this now, and I just go back to you and I Earthquake. So this is fine. And Serena can't actually do much versus me either, which is cool. So they have to switch there. Um, stay in, I guess. They go Crook. Go Mian Shao. I'm gonna you. They give me that. I'm gonna just go back to zone here. They go to Crook. I'll go Noive there. I'll just throw off a Drake, because if they go this, I want Chip. If they stay in, I obviously want Chip. I'll go for flame here just to rip throw, you know, go for a random burn. Ah, oh, this thing is annoying me. Go back to you. Bro, if this man just to win versus me just because I can't do enough chip, I'm gonna be so sad. He's down to just two slacks. One slack. They do throw off the Scald there, they don't get a burn. So they get one more recovery here, and then they're gonzo. Nice. And they didn't go for it there either, they preserved it. Um... I think I just go to zone here and a Thunderbolt.
This thing can't Terra anymore because they went for it with Slowbro. I think we just win. Because this isn't going to live my Thunderbolt. They go back to Muck. They're just trying to get out of range. And I'm, I'm T-bolting there just in case of some weird pivoting. And they don't go for slack there either. They, they conceded the game. Beautiful. That was a roughy. That was a very rough battle. I, I definitely overestimated my ability to deal with the slow bro. I think it helped. Oh no. <laughs> Kid Keo, no! Why do you have a slow bro too? And an Avalok, oh god. No, no shot you bring both of them! Thought you were a friend, Keo. Now I see you loading up Slowbro Avalug. Despicable. It could be actually Assault Vest, bro. I mean, you don't need both to tank physical hits. Obviously, there's this difference in defensive profile there. Hmm. There's a lot going on. So, like, on this team, I'd assume it's Rock's Flag on. It doesn't have to be Scarf Rocks. But that's typically how you see that built out. And then you could be looking at, like, Nasty Plot Dory and, like, Life Orb Shao, I guess. I'm trying to think about the breaking synergy on that offensive core. Because I'm kind of writing in my head this is like AV zone or like specially defensible iron defense body press stuff. I think you might be trapping for zone on this type of team. Not trapping for zone. Trapping for monkey on this type of team. It's a little tough. Monkey Dory could potentially like eviscerate this team. It could also do very little versus this team. So, you know, it's really fun. I'm going to lead Shao. Now... Me personally here. I'm gonna make the principal play and just press Ice Spinner. If he goes slow, bro, he goes slow, bro. But me personally, I don't feel a need to U-turn. Let me just go for my Ice Spinner. My humble Ice Spinner. Hope you can hear me smiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not getting away with that. You're not getting away with that. I'm sorry, Kyo. I can't let you do it to me like that. Unfortunately, this asshole comes out here. Alright, Brute. Scalds doesn't get the burn immediately. That's a good start. Go for a crunch on the Avalug. A little crunk. You know the vibe. I have to switch here. If I'm going to switch, he's going to expect Conda. I crunch again. Hmm. Poor Conda. Is he, yeah, he just stays in the Avalanche. It's fine. Try to get my rockers here. Black on Beagon's cool. It makes my zone a little bit more potent into their team. It means I don't have to Terra as... I, don't, I may not have to Terra as early, which is cool too. Every time you come out, I die a little on the inside. I'm gonna Iron Defense here. I want to see what he does. Okay, I don't know if this is AV still. He also doesn't know... What, well, he saw the lefties. He doesn't know what my set is. No, no, he... He does. He fully understands the danger lurking. He slacks, wanting to scout. That's fine. I'll just get a body press here, but honestly, I'm just T-Bold. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll admit, the iron defense here makes a little less sense than I anticipated making. But, you know. And what's this going on here? What? Huh? What is... Oh, it's because of the trap. I am about to say, what is happening? Let me go for another real quick. No item tells me. I mean, it's either specs or it's, um, vest. I got so conf- Wait, and then it went away once I picked my move. That's crazy. Look at that. Look at this. Weird, weird extra thing here. But then I press move, goes away. It's crazy. So I'll iron defense up again. I want to see what this thing's about. Because I can afford one turn like this, I believe. Let's see. I am faster. Bolt tells me specs are AV still. Um, CC won't kill. I can body press here. Hmm. I don't like this turn. I like this Mon. I don't want to go monkey because if he knocks, I look really, f really freaking silly. I look like a really funny guy. A real, a real goober. 
<laughs> like, it's just not a good play if I stand and do that, right? So, it's mostly trying to keep the slow bro, because we see Slack, so we know he's going to be CM. Hmm. I don't need that tab open anymore. Magnazone. I'm 252 plus 4. We also don't know the Mancha. Okay, well, we can see that, right? If it's Life Orb, I barely even live, and I'm going Noivern. Yeah. Like I said, if it's Life Orb, I don't even really live this like that. So this is just a bit better for me. Hmm. A flamethrower. Ah, he got me. Oh, that burn sucks. I thought he'd go hard zone there, obviously. Instead, I get immediate burn. Yeah, that's... That's unideal. I didn't want to Drake, partly, because I don't want Slowbro to have, like, the easiest in of its life. He goes Monkey, so... This is probably Scarf. Probably. I'm gonna go Bonnet here. That's... Uh, I don't love Bonnet, though, there. Hmm. Trying to think this through. I might still, like, Bonnet for clear smogging the way Bro boosts. I Like, I may need it to do that. I'm assuming it's Terra Boys and CM. That's what they all run right now. I could just sack this to the whatever move and then go for my monkey. Okay, and they only U-turn anyway. So I'll get a Drake here if they go... Zone. It's fine. Twenty percent. All right. Well, this can have. This can be had. Get my little flamethrower chip as well. I sack you. I still have my zone around as well. We now have confirmation that the monkey is scarfed. I go bonnet and sucker, but that doesn't really move me as a play. Shout. <laughs> go me and shout and bait the Terra steel. Yeah, that totally would work. I mean, I can go Bonnet here and just bait this. Double. Let's see. Does Kid Keo fall for my my trickery? My schemes? My ruse? My happy-go-lucky time? I mean, here's the reality. If I Sucker Punch, I lose nothing for it, so I'm just gonna make the right play at Sucker. Yo, what happens if he tricks me a Scarf, though? Ooh, that's funny. Let's go, Monkey. There's no world where I get hit by a Psychic here, right? Right. I'm not about to get Psychic Tears, I go Monkey Dory. Right. I mean, come on. Oh, God, I went first. He yewed. I mean, this is okay. Like, this is actually still just okay for me. It's not a great turn, but it's not a bad turn. So, we know he's analytic. We have damage from earlier from the zone where it did Volt Switch on my Magna Zone. Um, let's calc this. 200. Calm. From the Magna Zone. And we're just gonna say the speed 1 just so we have the um analytic potentially factored in. So it's probably... Oh, well that's specs anyway. Um, if he's AV, he does that. I think it was analytic. No. God, I my my calc is like completely worthless. Is it worth burning Terra on this? Yes. It is worth burning Terra to get rid of that. And then on Bro, if it comes out, I think I psychic. Actually, I could Terra Blast ground here is a better neutral ground, or better mid-ground. He gets the KO there. This is not good, by the way. I, I think I misplayed something here. I maybe should have plotted first. I don't think Scald would have one-shot me. Oh, he's actually Terra Fairy on this one. Ooh, that's kind of stinky for me. Because the problem is, this mod's going to be very hard to kill very quickly. Uh, yeah, I think I misplayed it with my monkey. I probably should have just... 
If he should have gone for Sludge instead, I just, again, wasn't sure if he, what he t would Terra. Flash is 47. Okay, well, we'll get a trade here with something. He goes Monkey. Hmm. Go Shao in the U, I guess. I mean, actually, it's worth just going this, right? This is now dead to the, um, what's it called? <laughs> Gerdo's boost, bozo. I'll go for a seed bomber here. Ah, uh, that crit's really dumb. That crit is really dumb. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I didn't deserve that one at all. I think I misplayed the slow burst shit immensely. Like I was saying, I believe what I needed to do instead. Just switch, keep Monkey around. Because Monkey will at least, especially once the Terra does come out. Monkey Dory then pressures slow burst much better. You saw the Terra poison with my psychic, Sludge Wave would do a smidge more. At all those intervals. It would have been better to just go hard group on it at that point, because I didn't really need it for a ton else, and the panic move always existed. I should have leveraged that better instead, and I mean, yeah, I got bailed out by this crit. I don't think it was unplayable for me. I still had some sort of out with, like, clear smogging away, trying to keep it low if I... Be I mean, it's gonna always be hard to keep it low, but I'm um, clear smogging the boost, maybe sack something, get zone in, and at least have flash cannon. Because by that point in the game, too, with Monkey dead to the hazard, Avalug is, of course, also dying to Flash. I think there was a way out, but I didn't take a clean one whatsoever. I hope y'all enjoyed this anyway, though. This was a fun video. As I mentioned, I think this is the most useful I have ever seen a Monkey Dory look. Monkey Dory seems to be getting a little bit more... A little bit more of a positive reputation in the tier now. We'll see if that lasts. I don't think it's a particularly great Pokemon, but I don't think it's a complete doo-doo poopy butt option like it once was. So let me know down below. How have you been feeling about the monkey? Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.